Okay, so let's talk about our demo. I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas um, on how to create trees from perspective, from a different perspective based on how far away they are to you and how we go about doing that. So it makes creating landscapes a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my overhead camera and we're going to get going with that. All right, so let's come down here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna put out some basic tree colors. I've got some burnt umber and some coffee latte, a little sap green, a little citrus green, and I'm gonna put out a little bit of yellow too. I was using white earlier, but I think yellow might be a better option, a little bit brighter. Okay, so I've got sap, citrus, Daffodil yellow. I've got green paint all over my finger. Charlotte, you're never late. You're always right on time. <laughs> all right, and a little bit of sap. There we go. Okay. And then I need floating medium. So I have some in a cubby right here. It's got a little paint mixed in with it, but it'll be okay. All right, so the first thing I want to do, I'm going to um, stroke in some trunks, some tree trunks, and a little bit of a path just to kind of get our orientation of where we are creating this from. Okay. All right, so I'm going to, I've got a 12 flat right here. I'm going to get a little medium, and I'm going to start out just creating some trunks. All right, so I'm going to get some very thin coffee latte and burnt umber on my 12. And I want quite a bit of medium because what we're going to do is we're going to slowly get, not slowly, but gradually get um, closer and closer with these trunks. All right. And then we also want a path. So I'm going to start by creating my path and I'm going to come way back here and I'm going to come in. Let me come down now because this isn't so much about how we load the brush as it is how we are applying this. All right, so we're going to go all the way back here. This is, remember I talked about a focal point. So this is kind of our um, disappearing area, our focal point. Um, and then as we come forward, I'm going to create the left edge of this path. And then just start to pull it across. So a little more medium. Vanishing point is a word I'm come, trying to think of. You know, I may, maybe need to start doing these lives a little earlier in the day by 8 o'clock at night. I guess my brain is just not functioning the way it should. <laughs> All right, so coming forward, I'm trying to get the, the left edge so I can get a feel for how wide I want to make this, okay? So now I'm going to come along the right edge with the light color. And we're just going to kind of sweep this back and forth. Okay. I'm using a lot of medium just to kind of get a little bit of a thinned path in here quickly. Okay. Now, um, I want to come in with, let me put a little bit of white out too. I don't need much. I guess that's all I'm going to get. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of light color. Like the lights hitting the path in some spots. Okay. All right. So that's good. Right about there. That's as long as I want my path to be. All right, and so my vanishing points there, it's coming forward to me, and then my trees are going to go right along this um, edge of the path right here. So I'm coming in with more medium and getting more of this thin color, right, for now. I'm going to start back here, and I'm going to create the thinnest trunk. So um, is this the kind of tree you will have a stencil for? Um, I'm not planning on a stencil for these, but you could. I'm... I'm really just trying to show you more color than um, than shape, okay, in this exercise. All right, so I'm just going to pull a trunk straight down. This far away, 
you are not going to be able to tell really any kind of detail on that trunk. You might see a little bit of a flare out down here on the bottom, but for the most part, it's just going to be a brown color, maybe a little bit of dark on one edge, light on the other, but you're not going to tell the bark. You're not going to see the texture in the tree. Okay. All right. Now what we want to do, because I had all that medium in my brush, I'm going to wipe it out and I'm going to come get a double load of the two browns. Maybe get just a touch of white on the lighter edge. Okay. And we're going to create a trunk that's maybe midway between here and the front. Okay. So here I'm going to come down, create the bottom of that trunk and I'm going to pull it up. Now notice I'm down this far. So the height of my top of my trunk is going to be about that high. You want to go as far down, go as far up possibly. I mean, it depends on the height. If the, I'm, I'm going on, these are all the same size trees. Okay. Now your width of your trunk is going to be wider. All right. Again, guessing that these are the same size trees. And you're going to see a little more detail, but still not quite as much as what you would see if it was right up in front of you. Okay. Now I'm going to add on the left side, a little branch here, and then I'm going to start to branch this out. I'm not going to go into great detail on doing branches. I'm just going to add a few for now. Okay. This is just for placement for the leaves, right? Okay. So just kind of creating a crown on that tree. And I think I want to just do a little bit on this one. Again, it's going to be way far back. Maybe I pull a branch out here on this side. Okay. All right. Now the last one is where you see the most detail, the closest one. All right. So we're going to start with this load again. And let me bring my path a little further forward to the edge here. Because I want the same distance between this as this one. There we go. All right, that's better. So now this next one, we're going to make this pretty good size. So I'm going to use the entire width of my brush. I'm going to push and we're going to come all the way up. I starved my brush so I don't have much paint on here. This is going to be full strength paint. And you're going to have a view of the root base down here. So maybe it comes out. Pick it up a little bit of white and darken that left side. Okay. And now at this point, I can come in and do some chisel marks on the trunk of the tree. You can get some texture. Now you might take some dark and do some things in there too. And then I'm going to add my branches coming off. All right. So we're going to get quite a bit more detail in this. There we go. Okay. So you can already see the difference in just the trunks. It's 
So we've got some light and dark coming across our path here. And so that's kind of giving you the feel for how far back this is going and what you're going to... Why do I keep picking up green? And what we're going to see and what we're not, okay? Okay, so let me clean this brush off now and I'm going to show you about the leaves. So that's the trunks, right? So you're not really caring too much about the detail in the back. You're getting a little bit of detail on this one, a little bit wider. You can see the angle right from your focal point or from your vanishing point here. It's going up like this and down like that. Okay, so it's, the draw, eye, it's drawing your eye towards and down the path. All right, so the next thing I want to do, I'm going to take a scruffy brush here and... I'm going to get some medium on that brush and come right here. I'm going to get some medium worked into this brush and I'm going to get some dark on one edge and a little bit of light and kind of go back and forth just to get a lighter blend with all that medium. A little more medium and I'm going to come out here and just make sure it's fairly transparent. Okay. All right, and I might get just a tiny, no, I'm not going to get any yellow. That's right. All right, so what we want to do with this, you're going to decide which is your dark edge and which is your light, and my left side on, in mine is going to be my dark. That's usually kind of how I roll. All right, and so I'm just going to kind of, this, we, it's so far away, you're not even really going to see any leaves, any kind of specific leaf shapes. All right, you're just going to get a feel for what's light and what's dark on that tree. Let me get just a hair of white, a little bit of white in here, and you can kind of add a little lighter spot. Not that much white. There we go. Okay, so we got a light edge and a dark edge, and we got a little bit of a uh, highlight in between. All right, so even then you could come in with your script liner and a little bit of burnt umber. Actually make it more like coffee latte. And, well, come on now. I think my paint's too wet. And you can pull a few branches, but you're not really going to see all that much detail. Okay, just hints of branches in the background. All right, now, so that's what you would use the scruffy for. Now I'm going to come and I'm going to get um, with my brush. I have back to this 12, and I'm going to get my colors here. And we're going to load with medium those two colors. And so we're going to come up here to this tree and keep in the light very small taps with the corner of my brush, light to the right hand side, and you can even come right in front of this tree here. If you want to come right in front of it, don't go around it. All right, and I'm going to get little bits of yellow actually to help bring this forward. That yellow is going to brighten it. And you're still, it's not close enough still to get any kind of specific leaf or branch shapes. But you will have, now I'm going to go on to the dark corner here. You will have gaps and some light and you'll be able to kind of see. Now I don't want to come over this trunk right here. But I can come through here. And then you can kind of fill in in between. Leave the gaps, let their light show through. And there's, this is not the only way to do leaves, guys, so don't feel like I'm, my emphasis here is more on texture and lack of texture and definition of, of the details, okay? I'm gonna get some white and we can pop a little highlight in there with the white. And a little bit of light coming over this dark side. 
So I'm back to the citrus green on this, right? Just keep it kind of light and airy around the edges. There you go. So you can still see this tree behind it. Not quite as distinct in um, the foliage, right? It's very kind of soft and pushed back. All right, and then we come forward with this. You got a little more definition, but you're still not exactly there yet. All right, now we're going to work on this tall one. So now I want heavy paint. Loaded on my brush, both colors. I'm picking up and I'm going to side load some yellow. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Now this one, we have a branch that comes over here. So we're going to come right in front. We're going to have dark and then we're going to have light on top. You've got to change the tone in order to see the different layers. So now I'm doing slip slaps with the corner. We're actually starting to get some leaf shapes now. See that? Not, not stroking leaves, but we're getting more of an actual stroke that's creating a leaf shape. And I'm rocking my brush around these branches. So I'm going to come through the middle. I do dark first and then light above and around. So the dark stays below. And I'm making wider strokes with this. Okay, a little more white. And we're going to come forward here. A little bit of yellow as we're coming up. Let's come up here. Okay. <laughs> My trees are as soft-spoken as I am. <laughs> Oh, you don't spend enough time with me. I'm not that soft-spoken. <laughs> uh, you're sweet. Okay, so light up here. A little bit of dark. I should be doing the dark first. Okay, creating that shape of that tree. And then you're going to come in with the lighter. This is kind of your medium tone, that citrus green. I should have pushed this over to the right so I would have more room. I kind of got pinched in here with my trees. All right, now I'm going to come and get this yellow. That's going to be my brightest color. And I'm going to define the shape of my tree. Kind of that outside shape, go right off the top. Okay, so see how that's working. And hopefully you're seeing the difference. Now there's a couple other things I want to do that's going to help me push these back. I'm going to come and get, let me get some white because I want real good white here. There we go. Okay, so I cleaned my brush and I got white. And I've got medium, and so I'm going to work in some white with some medium. Okay, and you've seen me do this before. I'm going to come right in here, a little more white, and kind of push this tree back. Right back further. See how that just made it disappear a little more? A little more medium. Needs to be clean medium and fresh white. All right, and we're going to do the same thing on this tree. Going to push this back. And that's going to help this tree right here step forward just a little more. So you're seeing this tree shape out here. This one's out here, and then this one's up here. Okay. So the yellow is going to bring this forward in front of the others and kind of create that. Let me put some dark in here just to pull this ahead. 
and then put the light on top and some yellow. There we go. So I'm trying not to hide my branches and I'm adding more definition to, but still not creating exact leaves. This is more of an impressionistic look just so you can see light and dark values and how you want to create this perspective of three, three trees, three or more trees. Now I did the same with thing with some grass. So I'm going to come in here and get my light green with just a little bit of sap and a little bit of white on the citrus. So sap citrus mostly citrus with a little bit of white and get some medium and we're going to come along this side and so on this side I'm going to do short little blades of grass you can even pull up like this on the flat of the brush see that flick it over the edge not a lot of dark it's mostly light that's going to push it back away and they're going to be um, lighter in transparency too. Okay. Now as you're coming forward, you can start to raise these up a little bit, have a little bit more dark, widen them out, following the edge of the path, flip the brush around, right? Do some more. So you're creating these light and dark looks, just little chisel edge strokes. See that? When, and that's going to fill in my media or midway. Darn it, I got a little bit of something on my brush. Midway, so you got farthest away and then in the middle and then right in front. Now right in front, you're going to be the tallest just like we did with the tree, right? So you're going to come right up here. And it's going to be mostly dark with little bits of light. And you're going to come and side stroke some of that daffodil yellow. And that's going to brighten that up and bring that even further forward. And then to finish off the front, what I did is I took my brush like this and just flicked up from the chisel edge. So I want you to see that right here. I'm going to do it so you can see. Let me come down here. So you're on the chisel edge like this. You touch and you flick it up. Flick it up. See that? So when you do that in the front of this grass right here, it kind of creates a short little bed. And then you can pull the grass up out of it. Now, sometimes you need a little bit of white to pull things forward too. So let's see, there we go. That's gonna help with some depth. Then when you lay the green on top, it's gonna show up better. See there? Okay, so kind of finish this off. You can come in with some medium and side load a little bit of burnt umber. And you can come along here and just kind of set that path right up against those trees as you're coming forward. See there? And underneath the grass, you want a little bit of a shadow too, right? So you could come in here and just sputter some dark. Leave the light in the middle out past the grass. And see that's just going to kind of set that. Okay, so I hope that helps you get a little better idea of how to and why you want to um, pay attention to the amount of detail or lack of detail when uh, you're stroking and creating trees or bushes or grass or whatever. All right. So, all right, guys. So that's our demo for tonight. I hope that helps you understand a little bit about stroke definition in near, mid-range, and far um, for trees, tree trunks, and grass, okay? 
So there you go. I'm